All right, so our tablecloth trick. This is a magic trick. And it is even more magical because we can explain it. So very simply using physics. So what's happening? Um, the first thing to do, and you will hear me say this an infinite number of times over the next few topics, is to draw a diagram. So we've got our dishes, in this case, a teacup, uh, on a tablecloth on our table. Because our dishes or our teacup is not, are not floating away, we know we have the force due to gravity acting on them. We know that the whole point of this trick is to get the tablecloth to move. And by Newton's first law, then we must apply a force to the tablecloth. So the applied force is the force that we will apply to the tablecloth. And we also know that there is a force due to friction, both between the tablecloth and the table, but also between the tablecloth and the teacup. So what else have we got then? We've got Newton. So we know by his first law, by the law of inertia, that the teacup wants to stay still. To get it to move, we need to accelerate it. That is, we need to increase its momentum. And we know from Newton's second law that the change in momentum that we want is equal to the net force applied multiplied by the time it's applied for. So from this equation, if we apply our force only for a small time, a small delta t, we'll have a small change in momentum. And if we apply it for a longer time, so if we pull more slowly, uh, we'll have larger delta t and therefore a larger change in momentum. So one of the key points to this trick is that we need to pull the tablecloth fast enough. So the faster we pull the tablecloth, the smaller the change in momentum on the teacup will be and the more likely it is that the teacup will stay still by Newton's first law. The second part of this trick is how much force should we be applying to the tablecloth? And the answer to that one uh, is just enough to overcome the friction. So we know that we want our net force to pull the tablecloth out and for our net force to be in the right direction it has to be greater than friction. So in conclusion, to make the tablecloth trick work we need to pull the tablecloth fast enough and with enough force and that will keep the change in momentum of the teacup small enough that the teacup should stay put. So now that you know how the trick works, feel free to try this at home. And if you have the ability to record a video, it would be lovely to see uh, your attempts. So you're more than welcome to upload the video in the space below. And one final question, which you can try to answer in your video. Will it be easier to make this trick work if we have heavier table setting or if we've got lighter ones? Enjoy.